Tesla has been wowing their customers with their futuristic tech designs and ambitious inventions since forever now. According to founder Elon Musk, the company is all about promoting sustainable energy alternatives and shaping the future of various kinds of technologies. Their $5 billion gigafactory has been designed to help the company fulfill its objectives by manufacturing batteries for their premium electric-powered vehicles. In this video, we're going to give you a tour of Tesla's $5 billion gigafactory. Before we continue, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's begin. Tesla has always been extremely ambitious with their inventions. Their new electric cars have successfully managed to capture the hearts and wallets of thousands of people around the globe. Their Model 3, for example, has around 400,000 pre-orders. Yes, that's right. The car was extremely popular amongst the masses even before it was out. But a persistent problem that the company faced was the lack of a convenient production facility that would help them produce their cars in larger quantities at lower costs. This is where the Gigafactory comes in. This factory is a $5 billion project between Tesla and Panasonic and opened its doors to the world of tech officially in 2017. The Gigafactory is currently the largest premier battery manufacturing facility in the world. This factory is also currently equipped to produce more batteries than the entire global tech industry did in 2013. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? The factory can produce enough batteries to meet all of Tesla's production goals for the years to come. This might even save the company from its predicted economic downfall and bankruptcy. The Gigafactory is a truly majestic sight to behold. Even though only 30% of the factory has been built, plans include a coverage of approximately 1.9 million square feet of land in the desert of Reno in Nevada. This factory is truly going to become one of the largest facilities on the planet once it's completed. In fact, construction has been going on for a couple of years and Tesla has managed to grow pretty well over the years. The Gigafactory plans include approximately 5.8 million square feet of operational space that will be used to generate and pack high-quality lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles. In fact, this is the only factory around the globe that is aiming to produce lithium-ion batteries in such large quantities. The factory is surrounded by large boundaries and a quick security system that protects all of Tesla's production secrets. Clearly, Elon Musk is a man of his word. His unwavering support for sustainable energy can be seen clearly through the way his factory is designed. The entire roof of the facility has been covered by solar panels, which produce most of the electricity for the facility, leaving very little dependence on external, non-sustainable energy. The factory also has an assembly of Powerwall units that produce battery packs for their famous Model 3 car. Since this particular car was a favorite amongst people around the globe, Tesla planned to scale quickly to meet the production goals and requirements of this specific model. By 2018, they were successfully able to meet most of their goals thanks to the production speed and quality of the Gigafactory. The efficient Powerwall units inside the Gigafactory help make high-quality battery packs, which are one of the most expensive components of any modern electric vehicle. Without this, any electric vehicle is essentially useless and will not be able to perform efficiently. Since Tesla has collaborated with Panasonic for this venture, the Gigafactory also hosts production centers for individual battery cells. These batteries are high quality and slightly smaller than a D cell. After production, the individual cells are then transported to the other half of the factory where Tesla overlooks the assemblage. The individual battery cells are assembled into flat battery packs by the production line. These completed packets are then shipped to Tesla's Fremont factory which is located a couple hundred miles away. The Fremont factory, after accepting these packages, attaches the batteries to various electric vehicle models. These include Model 3 and others like the Roadster Reboot. It's pretty clear that Panasonic currently occupies most of the factory and oversees major production. All three stories of the Gigafactory are set and equipped with the smartest and most advanced technology. These include 13 battery cell assembly lines that run day and night for 24 hours every day of the week. The production literally never stops. The Gigafactory is currently producing 35 gigawatt hours of battery cells per year because of this continued production. 
Since the factory is currently undergoing expansions, plans dictate ample extra working space for Tesla and Panasonic, which includes more space to handle raw materials and increase battery cell manufacturing. With this extra space, experts have estimated that the factory will be able to achieve its goal of producing 100 gigawatt hours worth of batteries. The Giga Factory is also equipped to produce electric motors and Tesla's energy storage products. These include the Powerwall and the Power Pack. Also, after the factory has been completely built, it will not only be the largest factory in the world, but it will also be the largest factory in the world to ever completely run on renewable and sustainable energy sources. And if you thought that was it, you're in for a surprise. After completion, the Giga Factory will require thousands of people to work in it. According to Tesla, around 10,000 new jobs will be generated which will boost employment in surrounding areas. The American government has acknowledged the economic importance of this factory and many states have tried to provide various legal and economic benefits to the company. This has been done to ensure that Tesla builds their next mega project in those states. With $5 billion in capital expenditures, the Gigafactory is a goldmine for many investors and tech enthusiasts around the globe. By putting more money into this project, Musk aims to achieve his dream and create an era of sustainable energy consumption around the globe. Tesla also aims to reduce the waste produced during the manufacturing process through innovative manufacturing techniques. The company's goal is to make sustainable, low-cost vehicles that will be accessible globally at subsidized prices. To do this, the Gigafactory is perfect since it employs economies of scale to reduce the cost of the batteries that it's producing. To put it simply, the Gigafactory allows for a variety of larger size operations to continue uninterrupted under a single roof. This saves a lot of cost and helps the company reduce the overall prices of the products. When the products are cheaper, they are more accessible to the larger population and more people can buy them. The Gigafactory also aims to source cheap, raw materials in bulk for their production process. The three main resources include graphite, lithium, and cobalt. The factory will be causing a significant increase in the demand for these resources. The demand for graphite, for example, has been estimated to see a 154% increase when the factory is fully functional. Sourcing cobalt is a little tricky since the company stated that they would not source cobalt from Congo, which is the largest exporter of cobalt in the world. This means that the factory sources cobalt for its batteries from a more expansive source currently. The batteries produced in the Gigafactory use around 9% cobalt according to their weight. Sourcing lithium for lithium-ion batteries is an absolute must. Thankfully, the Gigafactory can be fully stocked with this resource since there has been a steady supply of lithium in Chile since quite a while now. The Gigafactory is currently being built at an astounding pace, with around 1,000 workers working on it continuously. Final production is set to be completed by the end of 2020, and then this $5 billion project will be fully functional and equipped to meet all of its goals. After final completion, the factory will be able to immediately employ around 6,000 people. This would also increase battery production volume to 150 gigawatt hours in a year, and that is a huge amount. The company is currently choosing to stay tight-lipped about the future plans and projects that will be built in the Gigafactory after it's fully functional. Even during tours of the factory, reporters and other personnel were instructed to not ask too many questions about the classified projects that were taking place inside the factory. Sounds mysterious, doesn't it? The Gigafactory is a dream come true for sustainable energy and tech enthusiasts. It will not only be the pinnacle of invention and discovery, but will also be a great relief to the economy of the country. This factory will create an astounding number of jobs for people all across America, which is great news for American citizens and their economy. The world's largest facility will be fully functional soon, and people all around the world have their hopes up for Tesla's Gigafactory. That was our tour of Tesla's $5 billion Gigafactory. Are you going to place your confidence in the new Gigafactory? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.